Hi guys, this is Nindu Adventure. Welcome to our humble abode. This is our kitchen. What's on the menu for today is kimbap. We love kimbap. This morning I woke up and I'm like, oh, I feel like eating a lot of kimbap today. So we're gonna make kimbap. I've actually never made kimbap before. Maybe one time in South Africa, but it was a total flop. So this will be my actual first time making kimbap. So stay tuned. Okay, so now I have all the ingredients in front of me. So basically kimbap has set key ingredients, but I like to mix things up and I like to use my own ingredients. So today we're gonna make donkas kimbap. I actually made this last night for our dinner and there's some leftovers. So some donkas kimbap. We'll cut that up and then I'm gonna make a tuna kimbap as well. Some tuna kimbap. So obviously, gim. This is very important. Specific gim for making kimbap. And then, uyu. Oh, no. <laughs> uyu is milk. Oyi, uh, I think. It's cucumber. <laughs> some carrots normally carrots looks like it came just straight out of the soil out of the ground and then i bought this at emart this is radish and then i'm not actually sure seasoned bur burdock i'm not actually sure this is a type of root but this is also in kimbap and i kind of like the taste of both of these so that's why i'm going to put this in as well and oh, very important this is a type of spinach leaf so i'm going to boil this and then let it cool down and then also put this in the kimbap and then we're going to put some egg in as well i have some eggs here and very important is the tam kirim this is sesame oil now the sesame oil is just to um, um, brush over the kimbap you'll see when when we need this and I'm also putting this in the rice so I actually bought a pressure cooker or an instant pot as the Americans call it in Korea but it's all in Korean but this is so cool and as you can see there's a setting that has bop so I literally just press the setting in 10 minutes my rice is is cooked and yeah so we're gonna use that rice obviously rice also a very key ingredient okay let's start preparing and chopping okay so you're first gonna rinse your spinach like i said i'm not sure if i'm doing this correct so we'll see uh well i mean doesn't matter it all goes in your stomach Throwing that away. Okay, <laughs> we're going to boil the spinach and boiling it for 30 seconds to a minute. So just putting it in the water. Korean carrots are so big. Like they're massive comparing to what we get in South Africa. I don't know how your country's care looks like Okay, I'm not sure how to cut the carrot in long stripes, but I've seen they cut it like this and then I'm not a professional, guys. Not a professional. Group. I love cooking, but I'm really not good at it. But this is fun. Okay. Okay. Just let it cool down. Okay, our carrots are done. But now the, the other thing that you can do is you can keep your carrots um, fresh like this. It's nice and crunchy, but I'm gonna just fry my carrots a little bit. Bought it here in Korea. It smells nice. Just gonna 
season it with a little bit of garlic. This is like salt and garlic. And then you put a little bit of um, changirim, sesame oil. Again, I am not sure <laughs> if this is correct, but this is what I like doing. Or what I heard you can do. And then you just mix it up a little bit. You know, making kimbap is no joke guys, it's a lot of prepping, it's fun, if you don't like cooking, this will not be fun for you, <laughs> but luckily, like, I really like cooking, I'm not that good at it, but I enjoy it a lot, so, I have a lot of respect for the kimbap ladies, making this all day, chopping, oh my goodness, well done for the kimbap ladies, well done. <laughs> now it's time for the egg it's like a very thin layer of of egg that i'm gonna fry i've never done it yet this is my first time doing it so please uh bear with me <laughs> let's see i'm just using two eggs this thing in Daiso. I saw that people use it for rolling the kimbap so I'm gonna use this. This is my first time using it. Do you think you place it like this or like this? I think like this. So I'm also not sure do you what side you need to put it on. Like this is more the silky side and then this is the rough side. I think the rough side is where you put the rice. So I think you put the little bit of rice in. And then I'm gonna use my hands. Oh, it's very sticky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is pretty hard. <laughs> Putting the rice in. This rice is very sticky, so it's... Again, if you have any tips for me, I'm, I don't think I'll make it again. <laughs> this is so hard work. It's really hard work. You wouldn't believe it. This. So you guys probably would have told me this if you could talk through the television. <laughs> but actually the rice, the pop spoon works perfectly for spreading the rice out. Look how this works. So this is a tip for someone making kimbap. Use your um, rice spoon. <laughs> Look how this works perfectly no gaps 
Yeah, I wish I knew this before. Uh, okay, what do we put first? Let's put some spinach first. And some carrots. Again, I'm not sure if this is the right way you're doing it, but again, if you want to experiment and just try it yourself, I think there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see. Some cucumber. Okay. And then an egg. And then the radish. Okay, and let's do the, the Korean professional kimbap ladies. They put the the jamchi in a leaf. I've seen that before. But okay, so now I think let's roll it like this. bit of um, sesame oil. I'm just gonna brush it over. Oh, your knife needs to be sharp. Yeah, this knife is not very sharp. Because it squishes it. Mm. Okay, that big one is for you. Let's nice. see. Wow! <laughs> Pretty! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wow, this looks really good. I'm impressed. Should we taste it? Yes. You want to taste? No, I don't want to taste it. Okay. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Mmm. Wow. 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 The sesame oil really mm. brings out the flavor. No, no. Wow, this is good. And it's mm. really beautiful. I'm busy with my last kimbap so I just want to say thank you for watching this video this has been fun I just want to say that if you have any other tips for me regarding making kimbap please comment that below I would really appreciate it and also if you want me to make more other stuff which I don't think you will want me to make more stuff um, but yes thank you for watching and um, I think the kimbap actually really turned out well and yo, yeah, go and make some kimbap yourself it's really good thank you for all the kimbap ladies out there making kimbaps for us we really appreciate you guys 